Yamula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space. Oh, it gets awfully busy out here, so always look both ways before you cross the galaxy. Hey, everyone! It's the first day of spring! Why, I believe you're right. And that means there's going to be a special guest on the morning show. Welcome to Good Morning Zula! How's my perky co-host today? Well, I just couldn't be perkier. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the first day of spring, and you know what that means. Do I ever. Zulaeans will gather tonight at Lake Zula to watch the annual Ballet of the Water Striders. That's right! So let's say hello to Zula's most famous water strider, creator of the ballet, Madame Plier. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Yes, tonight is our fabulous water ballet, celebrating the arrival of spring, and you simply must be there. Oh, I've always wanted to see that. Let's all go. I don't get it. How can they dance on top of water? Won't they fall in? Not at all. It's possible because of surface tension. Surface tension? What's that? Let's check the Motopedia. <laughs> Normally, a needle will sink if you put it in water. But if you lay it very carefully across the top of the water, it will stay there. Why? Because the top of the water acts like a skin, thanks to surface tension. Surface tension happens because water molecules, teeny tiny bits of water, are attracted to each other. You sure like to stick together. Down and all around. Right. And the force that holds them together is called cohesion. But what about the molecules at the surface, the top of the water? There are no other water molecules above them to pull them upward. So they hold on even tighter to the ones around and below them. I see. The molecules on the surface try to stick together like a sheet of plastic wrap. So when you put the needle on top of the water, that sheet holds up the needle. Exactly. We call that surface tension. But if you push down, you can break the surface tension, like ripping through that plastic wrap. Then the needle sinks. Some bugs, like water striders, can walk on water because they're very, very light. And their feet are covered with tiny waterproof hairs that keep their feet from breaking the water surface. I get it now. The water striders can do their dance on the lake because of surface tension. Cool. Let's go over to Lake Zula now. We'll save good seats for everyone. Remember, we are artists. We must lift the audience to the heights of tingly emotion. Now, let us rehearse. of emotion striders, not the depths. That's weird. The water surface isn't holding the dancers up. Something is wrong with the water, Madame Plié. What? That's impossible. You see, there is nothing wrong with it. <gasps> okay, there is something wrong with the water. This is a catastrophe! If the water won't hold us, we cannot dance! 
But the ballet absolutely must take place tonight. It is the most precious of the Zula traditions. Oh. Don't you worry, ma'am. We'll have this figured out in no time. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. With my new thumb microscopic teeny weeny cam, we can observe the water molecules at the surface and find out what's going on. Huh, that's funny. They don't look very close together. But look, they're starting to move toward each other. I guess they're lonely. Actually, that's because of cohesion, remember? Water molecules like to stick together. Hey, what are those pink things? Must be some other kind of molecule. And they're coming between the water molecules. Then that's what's wrong with the water. Whatever those pink molecules are, they're keeping the water molecules apart. Precisely. And that reduces surface tension. Therefore, the graceful water striders sink like bricks. So something's in the water that doesn't belong there. But what? I don't know, but it sure can't be good for all the things that live in the lake. Molto, you and Gorga keep testing the water. We're going to check around the lake for anything suspicious. And please hurry, or my beautiful, elegant ballet will be sunk. Courage, dancers. Hey, the lake looks even pinker from up here. At least the part with the theater does. But look, the pink color leads off in that direction. That must be where it's coming from. Let's go take a look. Hey, look! It's coming from that cabin. Come on. Oh, dear. We've barely started our tests and time is running out. The show's supposed to start any minute. Oh. Almost there. Take cover. It's the old pigeons with water balloons trick. Take cover? Where? I know. I'll pose like a statue. Huh? See? No pigeon can resist a statue. Or a chance to soak a hero. Here, birdie! Wish you'd thought of that before I got wet. The pigeons came from that cabin. It looks like somebody doesn't want us here. Let's find out who. Whoa! Whoa! Whoever you are, come out. This is the Zula Patrol. The Zula Patrol? Well, why didn't you say so? The name's Pops. Sorry for the unfriendly welcome. Thought you were trespassers. Look, there's the pink stuff. That? Oh, that's just soap. I make it from plants. I've been doing my spring cleaning. Makes the place sparkle and keeps my hands soft and supple. That soap is going down the hill and into the lake. That's what's turning the lake pink. Which means soap must reduce the surface tension of water. Molto, it's Bula. The pink stuff is soap. Can soap reduce surface tension? Positively. Soap breaks the bonds between water molecules so they can't form the natural elastic layer. Fine job of investigating. But how can cleaning a one-room shack use enough soap to pollute a whole lake? Say, do you suppose it had something to do with that? That's my new wilderness laundromat for shepherds. <laughs> I'm thinking of starting a chain. Mystery solved. Uh, Pops, we'll have to ask you to drain all this soap into a proper collection container. No problem. I'll have it cleaner than a fish in a fountain. Molto, we'll stop the soap here by aiming it into a container instead of the lake. The soap is made from plants, so the tiny organisms that live in the lake should quickly gobble up the soap that's still there. Right. By getting rid of the soap in the lake, there may yet be time to save the water ballet. It's working! The tiny organisms in the lake are getting rid of the soap. Unfortunately, the ballet is starting late. But now 
it is showtime! The water strider dancers have grace and style and yet Just try to dance where they do And you'll end up all wet When teeny bits of water Called molecules how neat Hold tight its surface tension Just like a plastic sheet With delicate precision The dancers hit the beat They're light and bright and lovely And they have hairy feet The surface tension ballet Is sure to make you smile We hope that you enjoy it By dancing in the aisle To show. I just have to pay my respects to that classy Madame Plie. Howdy do, little lady. Your kids sure can dance. Oh, well, thank you so much. You're obviously someone who can appreciate the classic tale of truth and beauty as told through the magic of movement. And the dancing was good, too. Hey, you! That goes in the garbage, not the lake. Now, don't you fret, ma'am. I'm not letting anyone mess up your pretty little lake ever again. So, the Zula Patrol cleaned up the mess, Pops cleaned up his act, and I made a clean getaway by using the word clean so many times. Welcome to the Molto Moment. The top layer of water has something called surface tension. Do you know what causes surface tension? Too much coffee? No way. It happens because water molecules are attracted to each other with a force called cohesion. But a molecule at the surface has no water molecules above it to pull it upward, so it holds on tighter to those around and below it. The molecules on the surface try to stick together, like a sheet of plastic wrap. So when you put something very light on top of the water, that sheet holds it up. <laughs> Stop! I'm <laughs> ticklish! <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, toodaloo! <laughs>